This small object, the soap pump, is used billions of times every day by people all over the world. It keeps our hands clean and so helps protect our health. Let's see how it works. In order to understand its working mechanism, we'll look at a simple version of it, a syringe. As you know, if we plunge a syringe into a liquid and pull its plunger, it sucks up some of the liquid. If we push the plunger, the liquid is forced back out. What if we add a one-way valve on the seal? When we pull the plunger, it sucks liquid like before, but when we push the plunger, the one-way valve is opened and liquid starts to move into the barrel. In order to create enough liquid pressure and make the movements easier, we can add a plastic ball and a spring between the tip and the seal. Now if we push the plunger and release it, because of the spring it sucks up some liquid. If we push the plunger because of the plastic ball that plugs the tip, liquid starts to move into the barrel. If we release the plunger, it sucks up some fluid again. Eventually liquid reaches the top. The soap dispenser pump works in the same way as the syringe mechanism. When we push and release its head the first time, it sucks up some liquid soap. After the first push, if we push again, the soap that's sucked up reaches the nozzle. 